Sometimes, concrete test reports can get a little out of hand. We may have a hundred or so accumulated into a directory that need to be reviewed. By using some of the basics that I teach in Python for Structural Engineers, we're gonna write a simple application to read, process, analyze, and plot the results of these concrete test reports so we can do it automatically. In the end, we're gonna get an application that looks like this, where we can see at a glance all of the test samples that we've got. We can then zoom in, and see the individual test reports. The red bars indicate the expected strength. The gray bars represent actual test results we've received. This is Structural Python. Before we get started, I just wanna let you know that all of the content you're gonna see in this video, the PDF reports, the code, the notebooks, all that stuff is all located in a repository. There's a link below in the description where you can access the repository on GitHub. So the general idea is that we're gonna have this PDF concrete test report. This will be a computer generated report and so it will have text embedded into the report itself. If it's just an image or like a scan of a, a handwritten document, none of what we're gonna to do today is gonna to work. You're just completely out of luck. You have to do it manually. And so we're gonna be using a tool called Tabula to basically draw these little areas around each of the tables or regions that we want to capture. Then we can extract this data as tabular data using the power of this tool Tabula, which is written in Java, but which has a convenient Python wrapper on it called Tabula Pi. So this is what one of these concrete test reports would look like. To determine which regions we want to extract from the PDF page, we're going to use the Tabula app. Once it's been downloaded, go ahead and extract and open it up. This is the Tabula web application interface. So let's browse for one of these PDFs. You can use one of the PDF reports from the repository. There's a link to the repository, as I mentioned, in the description below. And we will import. Here is a preview of the PDF. We're now going to select the regions of information we want to extract. So we're going to get this bit here, this bit of information here. I'm gonna capture this part here, the supplier and mix number air content, cast date, and location. And now let's preview the selected data. These are the tables that Tabula recognizes and is planning to extract for us. So we've got the information we want. We're seeing everything generally how we would like to have it. Let's go back to revise selection and click templates. Click save selection as a template. Once we've saved it, go to my templates and you can see your templates that you've saved here. You can then download that as a JSON file and that JSON file basically has information in it about what we've selected on the page. Now in the repository, we have this template stored already. I've just given it a new name. We also have these PDF reports here. Now let's get ready to write some code by following the installation instructions on the repository. Once it's installed, let's go ahead and open up Jupyter. Let's make sure everything is working properly by importing Tabula Pi, which is done with import Tabula. Now Tabula has a built-in function. We can do dot tab to see the functions it has uh, called read PDF with template. The nice thing is now, because we can give it the template, we can save ourselves a lot of trouble with these options down here. And this shows us the output based on our template, which is pretty close to what we want. Once Tabula has read the PDF data it dependence data frames, we begin the process of cherry picking the individual data points out of each frame. Here, I'm showing the extraction of the air content, cast date, and cast location at 500% speed. Once the cherry picking is complete, move all of that code into a function whose purpose is to receive a PDF report as input and to output a clean record of the data contained in that one report, which is what you'll now see in the repository code. This is our function to read the PDF data where we pass it to bula.readpdf and, and the file name. We then have a function down at the bottom here, ABC reports, which is a function written specifically for reports generated by this imaginary company. We're going to read the PDF data into our list of data frames, and then we will go ahead and extract all of the bits and pieces we need, and then store all of those bits and pieces into a series here. 
Now we're back in Jupyter Lab, we will import our concrete reports module in the repository. And let's import that as CR. Our compile reports is our master function that calls all of the other functions below. This one takes in the reports directory, which is going to be PDF reports. It takes a company name, which we've called ABC Company, is the name of our fictional testing company. And it takes a templates directory. As we run this, we can see that it's going to process all these reports. There's 124 in this directory here, so it's going to take about a minute to get started. We'll just fast forward this so it doesn't take very long in the video. And this is our final data frame. Now each one of these rows represents one of the reports in PDF reports. It has all the information collected from that report that's relevant to us and it's compiled in as one row of this table. Now that we've got the data frame, I can pass that into concrete reports.plot. It just takes the data frame itself and now it shows us this plot. So everything in this notebook, I've encoded into the Streamlit application, which I showed at the beginning of this video. There's a link below that allows you to play with this and get a sense of how you might want to use this for your own practice. Because the process of creating a parsing function for extracting the data from a particular company's PDF template is quite fussy, you end up having to write multiple functions for each company's different report set. I highly encourage you to download the repository, play around with the ABC company function that extracts all the information for my dummy templates, see how it works, and see how you can adapt it for a PDF template that might be in use by a testing company in your market. Last thing I want to say is that everything I've been showing in this video is an application of the basics that I teach in Python for Structural Engineers. Go to structuralpython.com and see how you can gain the confidence in Python to build tools like this for yourself. I look forward to seeing you in the course.